Hi guys, welcome to this video from Blend Commerce. I'm Adam Pierce, I'm the CEO here. Uh, I'm joined here with Peter, who's our CRO. How's it going? Good, thanks Peter. So let's uh, dive into our next video then. Now, I think what we're gonna talk about today is kind of looking at how we can sort of optimize stores for mobile and obviously desktop. Um, obviously I know mobile is always kind of talked about a lot at the moment and has really kind of been a focus press for the past couple of years in e-commerce. Just to kind of you know, give some high level stats, when we tend to work with clients, what sort of proportions do you typically see of sort of mobile versus desktop traffic? Yeah, so with mobile traffic, we've now, you know, we, we're probably seeing some stores get up to about 90% um, of their traffic coming from mobile. Uh, you know, we've seen that over the last few years, that's obviously just progressed, progressed and progressed. Um, you know, if you spoke to us about a year and a half ago, two years, that would have probably been sitting at about 80%, um, where it now has actually pushed up to almost 90%, in some cases more. Um, but you know, the, the importance of it over the last three or four years, we were sitting at maybe 30, 40%, uh, where it's now well taken over the desktop version. Right, so really important that you get it right, really. Yeah, absolutely, it's, it, it's the highest importance when, you know, when we work with clients, making sure we focus on mobile first is the highest importance. Okay, cool. Well, I think what you were explaining to me today that you're going to show me something that we did uh, with kind of desktop and mobile templates. Uh, I don't know if you're going to share your screen, kind of give us a bit of background and uh, explain exactly what we did and why we did it. Sure, yeah. So the thing we were talking about earlier, Adam, is just that we just did a simple little integration into a theme uh, which allowed people to do different things on desktop versus mobile. Um, so just while I share the screen with you here. All right, can you see my screen there? Yeah, that's great. Okay, so this is a client that we work with um, and they had used the turbo theme from out of the sandbox. Um, and just to show you one of the use cases where we, where we did this was with their image with text overlay, um, and their main banner image on their homepage. Um, what, what happens is if you've got, so you'll see here on my left-hand side, you've got quite a wide angle, um, version of an image which is great for for using on desktop but what would happen is when you get to mobile that that image over there actually wouldn't be the greatest um because it would actually be quite small and just filter through just at the top over here um, and if you've got any sort of text on top of that um it looks a little bit squashed and doesn't look positioned very nicely so we decided to just add in a small little feature onto their sections um to allow them to use the section either on desktop or on mobile um, and making sure by doing that, we're actually letting them optimize a different version of the theme or a different version uh, for their mobile versus their desktop completely. So not forcing them just to, to take desktop and, and push that down to a mobile version. Um, so yeah, just, just to show you what we actually did there, we just installed on all the sections uh, the ability for somebody to show, uh, you'll say, see we've got this display mode and we gave them different options on where to display that so sometimes it could be great for all devices other times mobile only and other times desktop only so let me just show you quickly what this would look like on mobile only so you'll see you have an image across there it's quite wide angle like we've got and then you've got the text and everything coming down there but like you'll see we've actually got um so if we just put that one back on desktop we've got a very similar section built out there for mobile only. Um, and let me just show you that one. With this one here, where you've got mobile only, where you've got a square image and you're keeping the text and the button displayed directly on top of that image. Um, and that's just little things to optimize um, your mobile version versus your desktop version. Um, yeah, so Adam, that's it. Excellent, can you um, just drop the, the screen off? And we'll go back to you and I for a second. Great. So in, in terms of obviously kind of setting that up, is that something that most can do themselves or is it something that kind of a, a developer can do? Well, how, how does it kind of work? Yeah, you would, you would need to reach out to a developer to do this one. Um, it's, not, it's not a very difficult task to do. Um, you know, it probably maybe an hour, maybe two hours to set them up on certain sections. But if you want to set them up on all your sections, that'll obviously be quite a, quite a, you know, not a not a huge job, but it'll take merchants or, or developer 
a bit of time to make sure that they can set that up. Okay, great. And what's what the sort of metrics that we would see would, would kind of be impacted on doing something like this? Well, look, I mean, the importance here is that um, you focusing, you're focusing your mobile version not to be a secondary element of your desktop version. So you're now creating a version of your store that is mobile focused, mobile first, um, and obviously trying to increase the key metrics, all your key metrics on your mobile version of your store. So, you know, th that's talking about add to cart rates, reach checkout rates, um, purchases, actual purchases that are going through store, average order values, everything. By focusing on your mobile version, you can actually increase all those metrics. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what we see is people that are using, uh, or people that are getting 90% traffic to a mobile version, their conversion rates are really low compared to what their desktop version is. Mm -hmm. um, but it's trying to bridge that gap between the two and make sure that you can get your mobile versions to more closely follow what your desktop versions are. Okay, great. Well, look, guys, I hope that's been a useful insight into something you can do there in terms of optimizing your theme for, for mobile and desktop. Uh, give us a follow on social. We will be posting more of these videos and content over the next coming days and weeks. And uh, if you want any more information as well, feel free to get in touch with us via hello at blendcommerce.com. Cheers, guys.